Creating cognitive services is actually quite simple. I won't be able to show you the creation of all cognitive services individually, but trust me that the process I'll show here is pretty similar across most of the known custom ones. So I'm here in the portal and I'll use computer vision as an example. I'll click here on the top left corner and select create a resource. Cognitive services are here on the AI plus machine learning section. So here it is, and I'll just click to create it. The configuration is quite simple. I just need to set up a name, let's say CACV for Cloud Academy Computer Vision, and I'll leave my default MSDN subscription. For location, you should ideally select the location closest to where you or your resources are. I'll select Southeast Asia for myself. Finally, as you can see here, we have two pricing tiers, F0 and S1. F0 is actually free, even though it has some limitations. But generally, for development and demo purposes, it serves us pretty well, so I'll select this one. Under resource groups, I have one resource group for Cloud Academy, so I'll select this one and click Create. This will take a few seconds, so in the meantime, let me show you a few other things. On this tab, I have the home page for Azure Cognitive Services. Here you can check several details, such as pricing, services available, for example, if I click here in APIs, and more. If I click in documentation, in documentation again, I get to the root of the cognitive services on docs.microsoft.com. Let's scroll down a little bit and select the face link. Here you can see a lot of information, ranging from overall information about the product all the way to developer-centric details. If I expand reference, for example, I see both the face API REST reference and language-specific SDKs, software development kits, for several different languages. The SDKs generally give more functionality, whereas the REST API has the advantage of being language independent. By clicking here on the face API and selecting, for example, detection, I can see all the HTTP methods that this API accepts. That's a bit more of the developer's domain, but I would like you to be aware of it. Let me now switch here to github.com slash Microsoft. This is the main Microsoft repository on GitHub, and if I type cognitive down here, I can find a lot of sample code related to these technologies. Finally, let me come back here to the Azure portal. My service is now created, so I'll click here at go to resource, and by clicking on keys and endpoints, I have the most important information to connect to this API, the HTTP endpoint for the service and the keys to authorize access to it. Let's now dig a little bit deeper on the vision technologies.